Okay, this doesn't have a job number yet, but this is called the Esplanade. I think that's how you say it, or Esplanade. 1515 Dock Street is the address here in Tacoma. Down here on Dock Street. Very busy down here. Paid parking on the side streets. But they have this entrance here that you come in on. And it's blocked off right now because uh, the concrete's been damaged from excessive weight from vehicles being on here. Underneath this slab of concrete is a parking garage. And they had a report from an engineer um, stating that um, there were some some concrete slab damage but it did not cause any structural damage to the um, uh, to the slab that's underneath this so this is how this works this is three inches of concrete right here and these all these panels as you uh, make your way up here they said it's three inches of concrete and then you have uh, weatherproofing membrane underneath it and then you've got the uh, a 12 inch concrete slab underneath that and then what you have is the parking garage underneath so what they're asking for is to remove the three inches of concrete on these damaged concrete panels and place back three inches again um, the report said that um, it was probably from uh, well, they said it wasn't from vehicles necessarily, but they're shutting it down from the vehicles. And I have a report on here. It says um, it says that they did not observe any signs of structural distress in the structural slab below, which is that 12-inch slab. And uh, what else does it say here? Um, it says there are numerous cracks in non-structural topping slab. You've got different size cracks here. Um, it says their scope of services did not include assessing the precise cause of the cracks, although most likely they have been caused by a combination of shrinkage, thermal expansion and contraction, freeze-thaw cycle, and impact from vehicle traffic. Uh, the cracks most likely have experienced additional damage from the impact of vehicle traffic specifically where the aggregate is loose or missing so they're saying below this there really isn't any structural damage and they'd like to replace this and hopefully not have any damage done to the, uh, the traffic membrane that's underneath it now I don't know how good we are at removing concrete when there's stuff underneath the concrete but I'm doing this video right now to uh, take back to the office and talk to with the team so this uh, panel that goes across here it's a two foot wide panel uh, two foot by 40 and it's actually three panels there then you've got this section of nine panels here uh, that you see and that is a 36 by 40 for those nine panels then you have a four by four panel over here which I doing the math cut in half it's about a four by four panel there then you have these four panels here those, those four panels are 28 by 28 and then you have a little two and a half by two and a half panel here a little triangular uh, one right here that needs to be taken out um, then you've got a 14 by 14 panel. It's the 14 by 14 panels right here. So if you're looking west of that little dome, you've got this panel right here. 14 by 14. You make your way around, and you come back here to the back corner, and you've got a 17 by 14 in these three panels. So you've got this panel here, which goes to the joint. And then you got this little triangular one here and you've got this little triangular one right here so those are your three panels 
on that 17 by 14. Again, there's all my dimensions, measurements. They have this blocked off right now. They're not letting vehicles up on here. Um, trying to see what the weight limit is on here. Um, well, I'll give you the description too of what's on here. It says the structure at the entry drive consists of a structural 12 inch two way concrete flat slab supported by concrete columns. The concrete slab that is visual is a non structural three inch topping slab over a drainage mat and waterproof membrane over the 12 inch structural slab. So that. Um, that drainage mat, I'm not sure if that drainage mat is um, right on top of the waterproof membrane or if that's right underneath the waterproof membrane, but they're hoping not to damage that if we take out these concrete panels. I'll discuss this further with you guys. They're looking at potentially doing this spring of 2019. Uh, they said it's not critical to be done this year, uh, but if it looks like it's something that we need to uh, suggest doing this year, then uh, we can discuss that and I can share that with Karen. The other thing is, is they want bollards to go across the face here to keep people from coming up here. And I've got a description on the bollards that they want, but I'm thinking we're gonna have to uh, put in five bollards going from where these that candlestick is across here basically from concrete wall to concrete wall five evenly spaced bollards and I'll go down the street and show you what it looks like okay so I believe these are the bollards that they're talking about and they're filled with concrete looks like they're schedule 40 pipe and look to be about eight inches in diameter and they sit up about three feet from the ground I've got a description on these bollards, but I wanted to give you an idea of what they look like. All of these bollards are the same in the city of Tacoma, down this stretch here on Dock Street. So they want to have the same type of bollards there. Uh, as you can see on those bollards, they're permanent. So um, I'm going to get some more information on that, be able to provide that, put into Google Drive, and we'll uh, also talk about price on core drilling those bollards so back to this area my hope is that uh, we can do core drilling here and not have any issues I'll have to ask about that to see we'll probably have to have a locate done in this area to make sure that we don't have um, any water lines or electrical or anything else going underneath there that's all the information I got for now. Thanks.